Oh, here it is, boys. Been looking for one of these for a long, long time. Uh, price kind of kept me out of it. But lo and behold, I found one. And I purchased it only because the person who owned it definitely didn't know what they had. This is like, uh, this is the mother load for hand tools. Exolite TC100 electrician tool kit. And it's never been used. I'm not going to go through and take out every tool, but I'll show you a couple. Just gonna have to trust me on it, I guess. All made in USA. No Chinese junk here. Nothing. Not only that, they uh, they may get a point to really say USA, and then it's right there. You can kind of see it molded in. You know, there's still dust on it. Never been used, knife never taken out, that little ratchet never taken out. I think that's a micro screwdriver set. Uh, all your pliers, cutters, screwdrivers and ratcheting handles. There's a T-handle, a regular handle right there. And uh, underneath, the big stuff. Nut drivers. I don't think they've ever been out. I haven't taken it out. Missing a smaller common screwdriver. That's a big one. I think I have it. I think I have it actually. So yeah. I think that's this one. Yep. Well, I'll pop that in. That one goes there. And I have a, a Phillips that goes with that too. Oddly enough, not a lot of Phillips heads. Uh, you know, two or three of those. Uh, so what are we missing? We're missing one here. That, which I have. I know those are forceps. Something there. So let's see, one forceps and then two maybe little screwdrivers. This isn't, that's not original. Over here, two items. One, two, three, four, six, seven. It's another common screwdriver. Oh. Cabinet screwdriver, maybe. Nut driver? I don't know. No metric stuff. 16s. Yeah, they didn't have room to fit it there. Um, very impressive set. 1300 new for the new version. TC100. And uh, this lifts off to reveal. Um, now, that's not part of the kit, but that's a very expensive wrench. Uh, Proto 12 inch adjustable. I'll take it. I'll list this out. Pretty sure that's the screwdriver. And stuff I've seen. Pictures online. I can confirm it. Gold bullion? I don't know. I'm not going to open it though. So, hey, perfect. You know, we're one screwdriver ahead. Um, anyway, thought I'd share this. I was uh, very excited to find this. The guy was cool. And uh, actually worked where my wife used to work a few years ago. And, um, you know, obviously it's it's not new and it's not the newest version even. It's even got a little lock so that you turn that and that can't come undone. Uh, you know, very, very well made. I'm going to uh, take this up with me and see if I can figure out what I'm missing. But, you know, if you like old American tools, vintage American tools, it's hardly old. 
Uh, you, you know, this is right up my alley. You know, you won't find the Chinese tool in that toolbox. I, uh, you know, you'll find some German stuff and some Swedish stuff, but probably no Brazilian, no Mexican. But this is a showed my dad. He was pretty excited. He talked about how a couple guys he worked with actually had this set. He had smaller versions, but you know, even in 1977, 1980, when he was you know busy fixing machines. He couldn't have afforded this back then. It was probably five, six hundred bucks, and that's what these go for in this kind of condition. So he's like, "Are you gonna sell it?" I said, "No way." So, anyway, if you're looking at, if you find one of these, and you can get it for a hundred bucks, like I did, jump all over it. Pretty cool.